you also always run into the problem that you want to haul your entire friend group to your state in the French countryside, but no helicopter is space for them all, and the next airfield for private jets is just too far away. Well, does Airbus have the thing for you? The A400M is the perfect aircraft for the job. With its ability to land on a dime and not needing a proper paved runway, you can basically park up to the front door. It's also perfect for transporting troops, providing humanitarian aid via airdrop, or hauling around your H145 helicopter so you always have access to it. Now we're actually dealing with a Hollywood star here. Do you remember in which Hollywood movie the A400M was famously featured in? Comment your guesses down below and watch the video until the very end to find out if you guessed right and don't miss any of the quirks and features. Welcome to the cockpit, home to the pilot and co-pilot of the A400M and not a great place if you're scared of heights because we are here about three and a half meters above the ground. That however makes for a great oversight here from the cockpit so you can see everything in front, perfect for visual operations. Assisting the view outside are the head of this place for pilot and co-pilot, providing vital information at a glance. Now, with its official entry into service in 2014, it's quite a modern plane. So it's no surprise to see a fly-by-wire system installed in this aircraft with these side sticks. As in a commercial aircraft, you have your fair share of screens over here, uh, providing every information from fuel quantity, engine vitals, weather radar, and of course, maps and navigation. Over here, we have the autopilot controls. Up top, we have another control panel. And of course, most importantly, we have the throttle quadrant. So, a quick on 80. I am still in the cockpit, now in a third seat. This is actually not for a flight engineer, but for an additional pilot, an instructor, or even a loadmaster taking workload off of the pilots flying for special intensive missions. Comment down below if you'd like to see us interview the pilots flying these special intensive missions and I'll try to make it happen for you. And now, before we get down to business, a rapid fire question round. Can an A400M refuel another A400M? Yes, that is absolutely true. The plane can give fuel and receive fuel with the boom pole and there have actually already been missions where an A400M has been refueled by another A400M and legend says this is how new A400Ms are born. Can it land on a beach? Yes, provided sufficient length, that is absolutely possible. Summer vacation, anyone? Can it fly upside down? Well, thanks to its unique flying characteristics and power to weight ratio, the A400M Atlas has a unique trick up its sleeve. It can perform a so-called backflip loop, where it is upside down for a moment. The plane, however, is not designed for continuous upside down flying. Welcome to the belly of the beast. It's an absolutely massive space. Here we have a total cargo volume of 340,000 liters, a maximum payload of 37 metric tons. And to put that in more practical terms, you could fit an NH-90 helicopter in here. You could fit uh, 160 personnel with lateral and central seats. You could fit around six to eight different light military vehicles like a G-Wagon or six to eight elephants as well. And now if you come a bit uh, closer down here, you can see the rollers uh, equipped through the entirety of the cargo area. They are used in conjunction with the winch back there on the ground to load and offload cargo. And in the air, they aid the cargo as well for the airdrops fallout. We are already planning on visiting the factory of the A400M down in Spain. This is really cool in and of itself, but my personal highlight would be to witness an air-to-air -air refueling. Comment down below if you would like to see that or if you would rather see an A400M make an airdrop. Let's shine a light on the unsung hero. The landing gear. It has to support all those treacherous conditions and bear the entire weight of the aircraft and payload. Here, we have the main landing gear with six wheels on each side and up front, we have another two. Some specs around landing and takeoff performance. The aircraft can land on as little as 550 meters and only needs about 600 meters for takeoff. And even at maximum takeoff weight, it only needs 1,200 meters. So perfect for your backcountry flying operations. The four turboprop engines with a combined output of over 44,000 horsepower make the aircraft reach a maximum flight level of 40,000 feet and a maximum speed of over 400 knots. Range-wise, you can get 1,780 nautical miles at maximum takeoff weight, which is 141 tons with this aircraft. And with 11 tons payload, you can get 4,350 nautical miles. 
so quite a distance. Providing the lift are the wings spanning a massive 42 meters and nose to tail, the aircraft is 45 meters long. Now, let's see if you guessed right at the beginning. Here, you have the famous Tom Cruise door that was featured in the opening action scene of Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Fun fact, he was actually not using a stunt double for the scene. He was doing the stunt by himself, sometimes dangling 1,500 meters above the ground while the plane was flying. When it is not used for Tom Cruise's life support, it is actually a paratrooper door, which they can use to drop out without the need to have the back open. All right, Ed, I really like the plane. It fits my needs. What will it set me back and when can I have one? Well, I'm really sorry. You're going to have to found your own country first because we only sell to government customers. Well, you heard it here first, guys. Uh, I won't get one today, but make sure you like, subscribe, and check out the link in the description and donate to the GoFundMe so I can found my own sovereign state and buy one later. Other than that, big shout out to Airbus Defense for making this video possible. And you know the deal. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching until the very end. If you enjoyed this video, we are sure you'll love these. Again, thank you very much. It really means a lot. Bye.